Welcome back. It's time for another Brothers Grimm story. We're going to do Red Riding Hood. Some of you should know this very well. Okay. Two of those. Oh. All right. There was once a sweet little maiden who was loved by all who knew her, but she was especially dear to her grandmother, who did not know how to make enough of the child. Once she gave her a little red velvet cloak was so becoming, and she liked it so much that she would never wear anything else. And so she got the name of Red Riding Hood. One day her mother said to her, Come here, Red Riding Hood. Take this cake and a bottle of wine to Grandmother. She is weak and ill, and they will do her good. Go quickly before it gets hot, and don't loiter, by the way, or run, or you will fall down and break the bottle. And there will be no wine for Grandmother. When you get there, don't forget to say, good morning, prettily, without staring about you. So loitering means to wander around aimlessly for no reason. I will do just as you tell me, Red Riding Hood promised her mother. Her grandmother lived away in the woods, a good half hour from the village. When she got to the wood, she met a wolf. But Red Riding Hood did not know what a wicked animal he was, she was so she was not a bit afraid of him. Good morning, Red Riding Hood, he said. Good morning, Wolf, she answered. Whither away so early, Red Riding Hood? That means where are you going? To Grandmother's. What have you got in your basket? Cake and wine. We picked yesterday. So I'm taking a cake to Granny. She wants something to make her well. Where does your grandmother live, Red Riding Hood? A good quarter of an hour further into the wood. Her house stands under three big oak trees, near a hedge of nut trees, which you must know, said Red Riding Hood. The wolf thought, this tender little creature will be a plump morsel. She'll be nicer than the old woman. I must be cunning and snap them both up. He walked along with Red Riding Hood for a while. Then he said, look at the pretty flowers, Red Riding Hood. Why don't you look about you? I don't believe you even hear the birds sing. You're just as solemn as if you were going to school. Everything else is so gay out here in the woods. Red Riding Hood raised her eyes, and when she saw the sunlight dancing through the trees and all the bright flowers, she thought, I'm sure Granny would be pleased if I took her a bunch of fresh flowers. It is still quite early. I shall have plenty of time to pick them. So she left the path and wandered off among the trees to pick the flowers. Each time she picked one, she always saw another prettier one further on, so she went deeper and deeper into the forest. In the meantime, Wolf went straight off to the grandmother's cottage and knocked at the door. Who's there? Red Riding Hood, bringing you a cake and some wine. Open the door. Press the latch, cried the old woman. I am too weak to get up. The wolf pressed the latch, and the door sprang open. He went straight in and up to the bed without saying a word, and ate up the poor old woman. Then he put on her nightdress and nightcap, got him to bed, and drew the curtains. Red Riding Hood ran him out, picking flowers till she could carry no more, and then she remembered her grandmother again. She was astonished when she got to the house to find the door open, and when she entered the room, everything seemed so strange. She felt quite frightened, but she did not know why. Generally, I liked coming to see Grandma so much, she thought. She cried, Good morning, Grandmother! But she received no answer. Then she went up to the bed and drew the curtain back. There lay her grandmother, but she had drawn her cap down over her face, and she looked very old, odd. Oh, Grandmother, what big ears you have got, she said. The better to hear you is, my dear. Grandmother, what big eyes you have got. The better to see you with, my dear. What big hands you have got, Grandmother. The better to catch all of you with, my dear. But, Grandmother, what big teeth you have got. The better to eat you up with, my dear. Hardly had the wolf said this than he had made a spring out of bed and devoured poor little Red Riding Hood. When the wolf had satisfied himself, he went back to bed, and he was soon snoring loudly. A huntsman went past the house and thought, How loudly the old lady is snoring. I must see if there's anything the matter with her. So he went into the house and up to the bed, where he found the wolf fast asleep. Do I find you here, old sinner? He said. 
Long enough have I sought you. He raised his gun to shoot when it just occurred to him that perhaps the wolf had eaten up the old lady and that she might still be saved. So he took a knife and began cutting open the sleeping wolf. The first cut, he saw the little red cloak, and after a few more slashes, the girl sprang out and cried, Oh, how frightened I was! It was so dark inside the wolf! Next, the old grandmother came out, alive, but hardly able to breathe. Red Riding Hood brought some big stones with which they filled the wolf, so that when he woke and tried to spring away, they dragged him back, and he fell down dead. Look at the wolf all dressed up. They were all quite happy now. The huntsman skinned the wolf and took the skin home. The grandmother ate the cake and drank the wine, which Red Riding Hood had brought, and she soon felt quite strong. Red Riding Hood thought, I will never again wander off into the forest as long as I live, if my mother forbids it. So I hope you all enjoyed that story. It's a rather cute story, and it does stay pretty true to the story that we have heard. Now, the thing that about this story is this one is a fairy tale that is supposed to make us think and it makes us think to follow your mother's advice which is a really good story to read right before mother's day because sometimes your mother is right and it's good to follow her advice all right i hope you all have a great day bye